Hello and good afternoon from the beautiful shores of Lake Starnberger here in Tutzing. Now today we're going to be heading back into Munich aboard a Deutsche Bahn regional train, aboard one of their talents, um, quite a common kind of regional train here in Germany. So we're just going to make the walk up to the station and yeah, let's head to Munich. The station here in Tutzing is located about a 10 minute walk from the lake. Tutzing Station, which opened in 1865, is pretty basic, featuring just this small ticket hall. For the journey into Munich, or vice versa, you'll need a Zone M to 4 ticket. Make sure that all the zones you will be travelling through are highlighted in order to purchase the correct ticket, which may not immediately be obvious if you're in a bit of a rush, as I was on my outbound journey, resulting in me purchasing the wrong ticket. A single costs €10.50, Euros with a day ticket costing €12.40, Euros or a group day ticket, which allows up to five adults to travel together all day for €23.20. Euros anyway, our train into Munich is already here. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be travelling aboard a DB Regio Class 442 Talent 2. These were built by Bombardier Transportation and first entered service in 2011. This is an open train with no seat reservations. We'll take a proper look around the unit once we arrive in Munich, but for now, let's take a seat. For a regional train, I actually thought that legroom was rather good. A seat back pocket and a tray table are provided, and yes, it was rather sturdy. Also, massive thanks to whoever decided to leave their used face mask here. As for the seats, yeah, they're pretty good too, and will be perfectly adequate for our short journey today. Lastly, there are some plug sockets, but they're located above the windows, so you're going to want to have a long charging lead to get any use out of these. Now before we set off, let's just take a quick look at our route for today. We'll head north from Tutzing, calling at Starnberg and Pazing, before arriving into München Hauptbahnhof. Total distance travelled today will be 39.5 kilometres or 24.5 miles. Scheduled journey time is 28 minutes and our top speed will be 140 kilometres an hour or 87 miles an hour. And we depart on time at 12.32. As we head towards our first calling point, we get a good view of Lake Starnberg and the northern end of the Alps in the distance. Our first of two intermediate stops today is Starnberg, which, as you can probably tell, is the town the lake takes its name from. After departing Starnberg, we part ways with the lake as we continue towards Munich. Now it's time for everyone's favourite part of the video, the loo review. Each unit has three toilets, two regular and one accessible. And as regional trains go, they were rather good with everything being clean, well stocked and in good working order. Back outside, we've hit the suburbs of Munich and are now fast approaching our next stop of Pazing. München Pazing is Munich's third largest station, after Hauptbahnhof and Ostbahnhof, and is served by everything from stopping S-Bahn services right up to high-speed intercity express trains.
speaking of intercity express or ice trains, we pass rakes of them parked up in various sidings and depots as we approach Hauptbahnhof. I've covered a few of these in previous videos and we'll be covering the original ice one in an upcoming review, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. We pull in to München Hauptbahnhof on time at 1 o'clock. Don't go anywhere just yet though as we still need to take a look around the train. At one end of each unit there's a small first class section and although the seats do look a bit nicer, they're still in the same 2 plus 2 seating layout that you'll find in second class. Near one of the regular toilets there's loads of space for storing bicycles and push chairs. Bicycle spaces don't need to be reserved, but a bicycle ticket costing 6 euros is required to use them. Moving further along, you'll find room for wheelchairs next to the accessible toilet. Past the disabled toilet, there's a small family section. I found there to be a good mix of table and airline style seating on this train. In terms of luggage provisions, there's space on overhead racks, although I didn't notice anything larger than this, so bear this in mind if you're planning on travelling with large suitcases. I'd also just like to say how bright and spacious the train feels. The open gangways and large windows really contribute towards this. And lastly, at the far end of each unit, there's a small quiet section. Overall, I was really impressed with how pleasant and well equipped these talents are for regional trains. They're a great way of travelling from Munich to Funtzenland or Five Lakes County. Anyway, with that, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to help us out by giving it a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications as I publish new trip reports every Monday and Friday. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on Monday.